All right, so here's my project for this one. I'm gonna turn this little ATV, four-wheeler, whatever you wanna call it, lift, or jack lift, um, into a larger motorcycle lift. So the big thing to keep in mind as I build this is I wanna have these pivot points, the top pivot points, the same distance apart as the bottom pivot points. Um, all welded part of it. I'm going to cut it probably right about here and then I'm going to cut it up here as well on both sides and then I got some tubing I'm going to run inside of here and open extend this half way out here tie it together with the same tubing as I'm using in here one and a half inch tube steel Went ahead and cut these, cut those. So right here, I have some uh, eight foot sections of one and a half inch. Steel. So this is essentially the mock-up. Got these things knocked out so this here can go down without putting anything. Goes all the way on down just like normal. And then I'm going to weld them into this 1998 Ace Tour. It is the longest motorcycle I have in my garage right now. Eight, an eight foot table would be more than enough for that. I'm going to have to notch out. Here, so there's room for the pins. Go through here, that this is the stuff that these pins here. And up there. This is about the length I'm going to go with. This is where we have to notch out this piece coming down. Cut that notch out. All right, so here are my super ugly welds. As in all my other projects, full disclosure, I'm a dentist, not a whatever, a welder, cutter, anything like that. So here's the top and what that looks like. Cut out with that pin. You have the whole thing from here. All right, so put in some what I call test welds here to see see if this is gonna work or not. It's always scary when you really can't test it out. It's just a theory to see if your theory will work or not. I had to do a lot of cutting and welding to get to this point, but let's see if that will work. Well, there it is, welded up. I'm gonna put these on. This is the last part of the project I'm trying to mock up so I can figure out what I want to do. I need to make a bike chalk. Good 
sort of park. Alright, so there's the finished product. Those things wedge that tire in just like I wanted. Um, the straps, I got a couple bolts just holding this cross beam in place. That's all bolted down. Gets me up high enough I can work on it without having to bend all the way over be on the ground or change the oil or whatever. But this tire wedges in so tight in that chuck that it just held it up from the get-go so there you go cheap motorcycle lift that's that's really the only thing I would think through before you built your own is really how wide do you want the works bench space the top of that I made mine 18 inches because that's how big the ATV lift was you might want yours wider maybe not it's up to you but you still have room to set stuff. It's plenty wide enough. You saw me drive up on the thing by myself. It was totally easy. Um, yeah. I didn't know if it would lift this heavy a bike. Lifted it way easier than I thought it would. It'd probably lift a much heavier bike. 